it and third and then lead off? But has anything changed with the way the orders changed? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel a little bit better, but I think tonight was more of just the approach I kind of took to the play. Okay, so. uh, I was thinking more uh, right center gap and trying to hit the ball, let it get deep and hit it to the right side. And um, kind of if you do that, it allows you to deepen it up a little bit and uh, come right into my back path. So, I mean, I'm not pulling balls foul. Instead, I'm hitting them in between the lines, whether it's left field or right field or in the gaps. You guys had 14 hits and you had four and 13 walks. And I mean, you just feel like the guys were just on base, like the offense was just kind of churning the whole night. Yeah, I mean, the first inning, uh, we definitely struggled. And after that, we kind of kind of took off just a little bit the next inning, not so much. And then in the third inning, we really kind of hit, uh, I think hit our stride for the game. And, um, you know, guys walk, they get hits, has some homers. I mean, it just keeps giving us momentum, and we keep carrying it, and that's uh, awesome to see. Dave said you were real patient tonight. Like, even if there was a strike you didn't like, you laid off it. Uh, well, kind of, well, well, what was so good about your approach? Yeah, just trying to let the ball get deep. I just started lefty, so I told myself, you know, they throw it inside, just let it go. And um, they're probably going to work me outside, and they did. So I was just trying to let the ball get deep and carry the approach that me and Thompson have been talking about for a while, and just sit off a gap and um, goes right into me being patient and uh, letting the ball get deep and I can see it longer. So I think that really helped tonight. Heston, just kind of what was the pitch on the grand slam? What were you looking for there? Uh, you know, I was just looking for a ball to drive up the middle to score some runs and he left a fastball over the middle of the plate and I put a good swing on it, got out of here. Blue, it looked like, did you think it went over the scoreboard or? Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really know. I kind of stopped watching after I knew it was gone. And then what on the the eighth inning home run the opposite? What what'd you hit there? Uh, it was just a uh, middle away fastball a little up. How comfortable do you feel to play right now? Uh, you know, I feel pretty good. You know, it's the middle of the season, got a lot of at bats under the belt, so feeling pretty good and feel like driving the balls that are left over the plate and just seeing the ball well. You know, you guys fell behind real early three zip, you know, but Dave said it wasn't any kind of panic, you guys you had a feeling you guys would hit a lot. I mean, what, what was the feeling like in the dugout? Oh, you? yeah, we, we just knew we needed to drive in some more runs and get some more runs on the board for our team, for our pitchers. With, with all the hits and the walks, guys are on constantly. What what, what, what kind of, what, what was it like having 14 hits and 13 walks? Uh, you know, just a lot of guys coming back into the dugout getting high fives and stuff after getting the job done at the plate. Did y'all think of the ovation that Hunter Wilson got during the, as far as just about that as freedom and then he gets, you know, home run late and still gets some applause from the fans. Oh yeah, I think I think it's good for him. He was here, uh, helped us last year get to the World Series, did his part, so you know, I think it's great for the kid that the fans still show their appreciation for what he did here. Case, did you get to talk to him? You were out there second with those doubles, did you get to talk to him? So? Yeah, I talked to him a little bit. <laughs> well, what was he saying? Oh, just, I think the first thing he said to me was, man, smelling else detergent. He said, it really makes me miss it. <laughs> I thought that's kind of weird, but, um, yeah, he definitely misses, I know that. But, you know, I'm happy for him, he's getting to play. And uh, apparently he's doing well. Uh, look at his stats and what he did the night. And I'm uh, just happy for him. When you slid into second, did you jam your ankle? What happened there? Yeah, I went in kind of hard because the ball bounced off the catcher in front of the plate. So, I mean, took two steps, picked it up, threw it. I went in a little bit hard, a little fast, instead of taking a normal slide like you would, and uh, angle just kind of rolled up underneath me and got stuck. And then I flipped over the bag, just trying to stay on. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's all good. Isaiah, with Vanderbilt coming up, just kind of what do you know about them and, and just pitching their ballpark and everything? Yeah, um, I mean, it's a turf field, a turf mound, so it's going to be a little different. But I'm um, just talking about Vanderbilt, their experienced team, um, both hitting and pitching. Um, they've had guys on the weekend who've thrown on the weekend for them for a couple years. Um, and they have some guys coming out of the bullpen who are experienced. Um, and on the hitting side, they have a really good lineup. Um, it's kind of like an old Miss lineup from top to bottom. They're going to be really tough to get out. Um, for me, it was just for me, it's just keep attacking, keep throwing strikes, and just keep letting the defense do the work. And I think it'll, it'll be a really good game on Friday night. Yes, you know, you guys didn't win a road series last year, and this year only you lost a road series. Um, just what, what, what's been the difference in how confident are you guys playing on the road even against really good teams like Vanderbilt? Well, also, I really don't know the difference, to be honest. <laughs> but I know we come out there with intensity 
uh, I think more intensity than we had last year, and that might play you know a big part of why we succeed so well on the on the road. I mean, we we'll have our ups and downs, obviously, like Auburn. I mean, look at that. And then we went to a 15 inning game, the very next game. Uh, but you know, the guys that we have in the lineup and on the field, they have a lot of fight in them, and they truly want to win. And uh, I think that's what makes us so good on the road. Um, we compete hard. Did you, guys, did you guys want to take that team? Uh, you know, it's just it's just mindset on the road. We may be a little bit more focused or maybe a little bit better in a different environment that we're not used to. And I think it just, we thrive under that this year. I think it's just, we're taking it one pitch at a time. Um, and for, I mean, this team, we have some experienced guys, we also have some younger guys, but you just can tell um, there's confidence between everyone um, at home, even on the road. And I think it's just playing really well right now on the road. and. We're coming out with wins on the road, and it's big for um, and the, us and the SEC standings and moving forward. I guess you guys are sophomores. You've never played at Vanderbilt. I mean, what, what have you heard about? It's not the biggest stadium. But they're obviously a quality program. What are you guys? What are you guys expecting there? I mean, I expect a good team to come out and ready to play at home. I mean, other than the field, uh, I mean, I know it plays fast. Whatever I says, never, never played there. Never played much on turf, honestly. But uh, you know, they're an experienced team, like you said. And they got a couple guys that pitched last year that are returners that'll start for them. They got a good bullpen, experienced hitters. I mean, I expect to be a great ball game, honestly. You know, it'll just be another SEC matchup with a good team and a great atmosphere, and just another good uh, top team in the SEC playing off in the weekend. All good. Okay. Well, thanks.